It's here. I'm so excited. It only took like a year for me to get here, but it's here. It's called Predictable Probabilities, and it's a book about how AI can help you do life better because we all want to do life better. I think we're all over the drama, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this might be something that educates you on exactly how this amazing machine science is going to help you do just that. So find it on Amazon. And if you don't find it on Amazon, you can tag me on X and I'll help you get it. Um, so I know you talked about different segments in your books and how if AI was there, you would have had that aha moment or it would have made it easier. Are there any specific segments that are your favorite that you have? <laughs> uh, I, I think it's my, the section on decision making. Uh, and this is where, you know, the book is a constant, has a constant yin and yang between what makes us human and what makes AI AI. And, and the thought behind bringing those two paradigms, if you will, together is to learn that it's really all the same. And like we're very much connected. And the way that we're using machines to improve the human experience really comes down to decision making mm -hmm. and whether or not we take the advice of those machines you know that's yeah. that's human nature I don't I don't know if it will solve all of the problems because you know it's like you, I've talked to my friends my kids my coworkers, the people that I manage and I'll be like don't do that I've been there done that mm -hmm. don't do it and you always kind of want to do it so whether or not it's an AI machine giving you all of like the brilliance behind the statistical likelihood that you are going to fail in your face mm -hmm. if you make that kind of decision, our human character and and uh, um, just the way that human beings operate is like, I know better, I can do better, I, I'm not going to be the one to fail. Like you kind of talk yourself mm -hmm. into being this like champion, even though the story could have been exactly what your parents told you not to do, what AI is telling you not to do, what your boss told you not to do. Um, so, you know, whether or not people take that advice, dealer's choice, but the intention of that chapter around decision making is to say, hey, this is this most powerful tool that if you wanted to make less mistakes in your life, mm -hmm. this might be the tool to help you do that. That's amazing. I cannot wait for people to read that part too, the decision making chapter. Um, so now that the book is out, how has this book launch and the whole writing process changed you? Or has it changed your, um, the way you view anything in particular? Gosh, the way I view mean, anything? Uh, I will say now that I'm done with the book, I feel like I've just had like a year worth of therapy <laughs> and trying to like, how do I explain, you know, like the, the little bird, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, except my book is not the sky is falling. The, my book is the sky is not falling. The sky is becoming bluer and mm -hmm. clearer. And the, I guess the lesson I've learned out of that is that not a lot of people want to hear the optimistic story. Interesting. A lot of people, and again, maybe that goes back to human nature, mm -hmm. we're very addicted to drama and the problem. Oh, like, yeah. I gotta have the problem. Yes. Well, everybody loves their housewives. Yes. The housewives yes. shows. You want, you want something where there's like this constant struggle of right and wrong and yes. your anxiety is off the chart. And I, I, you know, my book just isn't that. My book is a way to say, hey, if you don't want a lot of drama in your life. Mm -hmm. If you don't want a lot of anxiety, if you don't want a lot of like um, unknown challenges, like this might be the tool to help you reduce and like USA your life, if you will. But uh, it's been surprising to me that people are, are looking for it. And like I've had, um, I've had uh, friends come to me and say, oh my gosh, I can't wait to hear about all of the trash talking that you're doing about AI and machine learning and how it's impacting our lives. And I'm like, that's not at all what I'm talking about. <laughs> so. It, you know, their faces are a little mm. kind of like, oh, I thought it was going to be more dramatic than that. And I'm like, no, this is a solution book. This yes. is about how you can make life better mm -hmm. with these kind of tools. Wow, that's awesome.